Hi, everyone. Um, thanks very much for um, everyone speaking this morning. It was, you know, I'm truly standing here inspired by what everyone has been saying. And um, I'd like to also thank, in particular, Juliet from Good Energy, uh, where she introduced the Cell Electricity platform. Um, and to very succinctly say what we do, we have built and run the technology that sits behind this electricity platform. So we are a small but ambitious software company. We're, we're based in London, and we have a grand um, mission, I guess, to democratize energy. What I want to kind of tell you today is a you know, quick story about... Um, about how we got here, what, you know, where did we start and, and why we ended up here. So it, it started before Open Utility. I, was, I spent three years researching the future of energy and, and it was very clear to me that the, the, the energy system was broken. We all know that we need to move towards a, a renewable economy if we've got any chance to, to, to fight climate change. But every part of the system was Kind of built to maintain the status quo, the large-scale centralized fossil fuel power stations, the transmission distribution, and the wholesale markets all sort of maintain this structure. And I, and I realized that what we need is complete systems change. So, so looking around, um, I, I wanted to sort of look for analogies of where sort of giant system change has actually been successful. And, and it's quite clear that the thing that first popped into my mind was the internet and how it's transform the global communication system. You, you know, it it's essentially uses digital technology and, and principles of fairness and decentralization to replace the, the previous analog, centralized, and inefficient communication system that only really served um, uh, in the favor of, of large media companies. And now we have a level playing field where anyone can uh, record their own you know, video or write an article and share it, the click of a button with millions. It's the democratization of information. I wanted to take that idea and see if we could apply that in energy. Can we democratize energy? Um, can we take those same principles of fairness and decentralization and, and change the system? You know, why, why can't you buy, why can't it be just as easy to, to buy your electricity from, from your neighbor's solar panels as it is from a big power station on the other side of the country? So that was it in a nutshell. This is the, the ambition. And then kind of bringing it back down to ground. In, in early 2013, in January 2013, I thought, heck, right, now let's, let's start a company to do this. Uh, so the first thing I did was, uh, was uh, take out a 10 grand loan. Um, so I didn't need to have a job um, for, for six months and I could just focus on, on doing this. Um, okay, this, this loan, which was backed by the government, was uh, normally given out to sole traders so they could uh, get off the ground rather than um, companies like mine have visions of upturning the two trillion dollar energy industry. Uh, but you know, you've got to start somewhere. And, and that was key. So it kind of it, it enabled me to, instead of saying, I've got this idea um, um, down the pub, people, you know, I can actually say, I'm doing this. And, and, and that actually got a lot of interest. So. The, the, the next most important thing I did in the company was, was have the realization I couldn't do this by myself. I needed to build a founding team if I had any chance of getting it off the ground. So I, I went on an active hunt for, for founders. I was attending every meetup um, possible. And at one particular meetup group uh, called CleanWeb, which was essentially uh, a group for geeks who were concerned about sustainability, I, I, I met Andy. So Andy was one of these geeks. Uh, who, who really liked, uh, who was a software developer um, concerned about sustainability, and we hit it off immediately. And we got right into the, the, the depths of the algorithms and the technology, and we were coding like mad and building this peer to peer energy trading system. And it was a, you know, one day early on, we kind of looked at each other and went, looking down at these you know, lines of code and saying, I think we're building this for machines and, and perhaps uh, engineers, but not really humans. Um, you, know, the, you know, who's going to use this? So we realized at that point we needed another co-founder, someone who uh, understood design. So Andy had worked at a previous digital startup with, with Alice. Alice was a designer. Um, so we went round to her house, and Andy and I went excitedly into the Internet of Energy and lines of code, and uh, Alice kind of went, stop. You know, um, she took out a blank piece of paper and drew a, a human in the middle and said, right, what does the human do? So that was it. That was the, the founding team complete. Uh, and we've been working together, you know, very well since. So 
the next thing we started doing is started building these early prototypes of um, this, uh, this online marketplace. And that was when we started to realize um, that the energy sector is really complex. It's full of regulations. It's, it's got these big incumbent players. It's got lots of policy and regulation, thousands of lines of regulations. It's difficult, uh, as Juliet said, to even to start a traditional type company in this space, let alone turn it upside down and change the rule book. So it was that point where we again, we realized that, that we, we couldn't do it by ourselves. We, we needed to partner with um, organizations that knew how to do this stuff. And we could focus on what we were good at, which is the, the software and, and the, the human-led um, web design. So that is when we, we started the next phase of uh, the company, uh, what I call the utility dating phase, uh, where we, we went around the country and we, we had meetings and spoke with 16 um, utilities from the biggest in the, in the country to the smallest. And most were, uh, you know, they were all quite interested in what we we're talking about. We all thought we were a bit mad. And, um, you know, they told, kind of sent us packing. And one company actually um, sent us on a, a course to understand how the electricity industry worked. So that didn't end up very well. Um, but we didn't give up. We kept, we persevered throughout 13 and 14. And then we had a breakthrough moment. We, we applied for and successfully got... Uh, grant funding from uh, Department of Energy and Climate Change and co-funded from Nominet Trust, um, a total of half a million pounds, which was a lot of money for us um, at that point. And, and that really, you know, having the backing of the government got the regulator involved and they were really interested. And then suddenly the utilities, and the utilities we spoke to were interested in working with us. So we were in this sort of crazy situation where uh, we had to do a competitive tender to find our, our partner to do a trial. And as, as we know, Good Energy won that tender. And, and the reason is very clear. They were actually the, the, the first company there that we spoke to. Um, and, and they were always at the top of our list because of the, the clear alignment in, in you know, values and mission and, and, and vision. So we've been working with Good Energy very closely since um, early 2015. And, and we launched the, the trial of our service in October last year. So this is... Uh, uh, an online marketplace um, where businesses can come and choose which re local renewable generators, whether they're solar, wind, or hydro, uh, that they want to buy from. Um, we launched this with some Good Energy's flagship co customers like the Eden Project and, and National Trust. Uh, and it was a really interesting learning experience. So, you know, we, businesses for the first time could, could log in uh, and actually have some control and transparency in what was going on. You know, they had to start thinking, you know, what is important to me? Is it the local community generator or am I a fan of or not a fan of certain technologies? So there was some really interesting sort of dynamics going on. And, and beneath all of this, all the, the, the algorithms that Andy and I had built were kind of ticking away nicely. But that isn't important anymore. It's, it's all about the, the product and what actually happens. So the, the trial was, was really successful and, and really pleased to say that we, we've now commercialized this with Good Energy. We launched it yesterday, which was really exciting, um, and um, under the name Electricity, uh, and, and we're hopeful to, to be rolling this out to you know, thousands of businesses and renewable generators over the coming years. So, um, you know, we've, we've definitely made some small steps, you know, towards our vision of a democratized energy system, but, you know, there's, there's a lot more things we need to do to get there. Um, in particular, some of the next things are, you know, we, we want to set up a trial for residential customers, you know, so everyone in this room could actually take part in, in, in a local energy market, so that, that's something we're keen to get off the ground. We're also, you know, part of our, our mission is to, to, again, is to sort of influence and change regulation. So there's some regulations which are just set up for a different era, for the centralized era. And in particular, the way, um, the way you, ch uh, the, you are charged to use it connecting to the grid is a bit archaic. It's assuming, even if you're buying your energy from your neighbor, you, it assumes you're buying it from across the country, and it sort of it gives an unfair advantage, in a way, to the bigger power station. So that's something we're actively talking to regulators about. And then finally, we are you know, getting into a, a, what we hope is a growth phase. So once we've you know, finally closed our latest investment round, you know, finance is always, a, always an issue as a startup, we, we hope to be actually expanding into our, um, our first international market next year. So um, somewhere in Europe, I can't tell you right now, but watch this space, you know, 2017 could be the year that we take this idea global. Thanks very much.